Hey, all right, so this is video number three of my fear-free cancer journey that I'm doing. I have breast cancer, and I just found out about two weeks ago that I have it, and I've been through the mammogram and the confirmation that it is not a benign mass. There's actually three masses in my breast, and it's not benign, and I found that out in the mammogram, and, and when I left the mammogram, um, I needed to tell people about this diagnosis. And I'd already told a couple people that I was going in and my husband knew that I believed it was can cancer because I had an opening with my internal guidance system um, about it. And if you don't know what that is or you want to find out more, go to Smart Soul Academy. This is really uh, a video just to explain how I use my own internal guidance system in a situation where this is happening. I left and I felt, when I left the mammogram and they said it wasn't benign, I felt actually very tender and it was very interesting i just felt like this this real sacred tender relaxed centered feeling in my body because i number one i right away knew that it was cancer the moment i test touched the lump number two i'd already been through you know what's going to happen and i got i was going to live i got that i was going to go through the journey i also got through that i was going to that the journey wasn't going to be easy but that it was really rich and important that i do this it's part of my purpose to go through this experience and that um, I also got that I want, I opened and I expanded that I want to go through this journey, that this is actually important and I've had no fear. And so I left and I had, I called my husband, the first person. And during that call, I could hear that he was, he was good, but he was also kind of, he started to get emotional, emotional for him a little bit, you know, and I went to reassure him. And so I've been using my internal guidance system since 1993 and I met him um, and we got married in 2009. I met him in 2008. And from the very first night that we met and spent all night talking, um, he's known about my internal guidance system and that I follow these opening sensations in my body to stay aligned with where I'm supposed to be in my life in any moment, how to have the kinds of conversations I want to have. I'm not perfect at it. Okay, I've, it's been a long journey to, to, to decode how this works in relationship with our minds, but we've had some really cool, super cool experiences along the way. And one of them was we were going, it was super early in the morning, it's like four o'clock in the morning and we're going to Mexico for a couple's retreat. It was a week long thing. We were tired, we were grumpy, we got in an argument on the way there. I almost didn't go. I got super emotional because I was super tired. It was like early, I think it was even like three in the morning. And we were kind of bickering and arguing on, uh, on the way through the airport. And when we got to Mexico, or we got on the plane, actually halfway to the plane, when the sun came up, my husband went to find his sunglasses. And he freaked out because he felt like he'd left his sunglasses on the conveyor belt or in one of the bins or something because we were distracting. And of course, then we bickered about whose fault that was. And I mean, if you've been in a couplehood, you know how this stuff goes, right? So we get, I'm sitting there on the plane thinking about his missing sunglasses. And every time I think that they're completely lost, I get a tight feeling, which is the closing, meaning what I'm thinking is not true or not gonna happen. So it's not true that his sunglasses are left in the, on the conveyor belt. And I kept getting an opening, which is an expanded feeling, a centered feeling that I'm talking about and I'm using on this cancer journey. I kept getting an opening that they were in our car. And he swears that he brought them I, I checked and I was like, is it here, is it there? And somebody had driven us to the airport and was staying at our house and they had our car. And I got an opening that they were in the car. So I had my friend Chris look through the whole car and they weren't there. So I was like, wait, that's really weird. So then I got an opening, which is an ex when I was thinking about where in the car, they had slipped under the passenger seat of the car. That's what I got the biggest opening, which is a larger expanded feeling. Now I'm not sitting here going, are they here? Are they there? No, I'm just kind of like thinking about where my husband was sitting, where I'm sitting, how it goes. I was like, they're under the front seat. So I had Chris check under the front seat twice because he came back and he said, they're not there. And I told my husband, I'm getting an opening there in the car. I swear to you. So here we are for a week in Mexico. All right. And the, crux of the situation is is my husband is convinced they're gone and I'm open that they're there and that he's sitting there going this time you're going to be wrong this time your IGS is going to be wrong so we get home from um Mexico and the person picks us up in our car and I reach under the front seat and I feel around and pull out his sunglasses and it was one of those moments right one of those beautiful moments where uh 
we both were like, wow, this is amazing. This tool is so cool, right? So I'm in the car and I'm leaving the mammogram place. This was like last week, right? And I um, call him up to tell him. And I said to him, honey, do you, I promise I'm open that I'm gonna live. I'm gonna be okay. I'm not going anywhere. And um, this is actually gonna be a good thing. I know you think I'm nuts all the time with my my you know openings and my positivity about life but seriously this was going to be a, actually a, a, the best one of the best things that could have happened in our experience i don't know how but it will be and do you remember the sunglasses in mexico do you remember when i told you that they were under the front seat and you were like you're going to be wrong this time you're going to be wrong this time i said sweetie i'm not going to be wrong this time either it's going to be okay we're going to be fine it's going to be good so and he was like yeah I can feel that. I can feel that. So then I went on to call my team, which is my best friends, Lauren and Michelle. They helped me run the company, the Smart Soul Academy company. And um, and from the moment that they heard about it, I, I said, I'm open. I'm going to be okay. They were open too. They use their internal guidance system too. And it was so cool because I explained whatever everything that happened and that yes, it's not it's it's not benign and I don't know the stage or the type yet. I still don't right now. That's coming in the next couple days. I'll be sharing a video on that. But um and there was this weird thing because Lauren said to me, Well, congratul she go, she stopped. She's like, It's so weird, I I wanna congratulate you. I said, I do too. I feel excited. I actually feel really excited about what's about to happen. Um, I feel, I feel like this is, this is sacred, that this is purposeful. And she was like, yeah, well, I, I want to congratulate you. And, and she goes, I know that feels weird, but it feels right. It feels right that this is happening. And this is what I'm, this is where I've been since February. It's now May, it's May 6th. And I just feel so full and, and, and peaceful and, and like, this is important. And I called Michelle and all of us have had the same experience. I've shared this with the community of students in Smart Soul Academy on a call and, and, and I, I said drop into your listening which is one of the practices that we use in order to help you guide through how to run your day. It's called flow and you flow through your day from opening to opening to opening and I said drop into your listening and I want you to be with me on this and check your own openings and closings because this is what I'm getting and everybody as well is getting an opening. Your openings and your closings are only to what your mind is thinking. So as I was speaking on the call about my journey, their own thoughts about what I was saying is what they're getting their response to and they were all getting an opening as well and it's been that way overwhelmingly. And so I guess the point of this is that if you have people to tell about this journey, it's really important for you to get into your own space of, and deep knowing around what's the path that's coming towards you and how you feel about it. And the, and the crazy thing is, is I've opened at people dying. My brother passed in, in uh, 2003, he died in a tragic way. And from the moment that I heard he had disappeared, I got an opening, I wasn't gonna see him again. I've had many people in the community get an opening that their, their parent was gonna pass from cancer or was gonna die from something. And there's a sense of peace when, e even though it seems dire and, and scary and fearful and painful, if it's the truth, it doesn't feel that way. It feels centering, it feels right, it feels like a part of life. It, 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 you, you, it becomes beautiful and, and precious and important instead of horrific and scary and, and traumatic. And, and that's where you can be. You can actually experience things that seem harsh by stepping out of your mind and using your innate wisdom of your body to reconfigure what's true for you. And so as I went and told people, my truth was so loud. I, I don't have any closing fear or overwhelm or anxiety, terror, panic. I don't have any of that and they could feel it. So anyways, I'm going to um, end up the videos. I'm kind of catching you up. Um, I'm going to do a, a biopsy, what happened during the biopsy. Those were one of the moments where I had some fear because I was told it was super painful, some of the worst pain somebody's ever felt. And I had to move through that. I got, I, I started getting this scared. I was like, wait a minute, I'm scared. That means what I'm thinking is not true. It's not going to be painful. And I want to share what actually happened on the biopsy table. And then we're waiting for the results. We're waiting to find out um, what type and stage of cancer that I have.
So I'll be sharing all this with you. I'm glad you're here. And if you know anybody that this can help, please send it along. I would appreciate it. I'd love for people to be able to feel the way I feel. Plus, it's the healthiest thing you can do. And talking to my doctors, being fear-free and stress-free is so nourishing and helpful for the cancer journey. It's actually one of the key tenets that they work on is helping you to become more stress-free. And um, this is one way to do it. All right. Thanks so much. Love you so much. Have a great day.